Captain, can you hear me? I'm reporting in. Star Trek is awesome. Over and out. Hey guys! So normally on Monday I would do a serious bookish review, but instead today I'm going to have a little fun. I don't got any makeup on, I'm using my secondary camera because my main camera is like, went to work with my husband for reasons. So I'm using my secondary camera, which is weird and different, and I'm not sure if I like it, but we're going to make do because today we're just going to talk about Star Trek. See, all weekend I was gone at Kitsune Con, and then when I got back, I got to do one of my favorite nerdy things, which is watch Star Trek! Yeah! And I wanted to talk to you about this new movie, even though I wasn't planning to, because I liked it a lot. Now this is going to be full-on rambly, I haven't written any notes down in my notebook. I'm just going to share my immediate morning thoughts with you the day after I came back from seeing the new Star Trek movie. So, the reboots. How do I feel about them? You know what? I don't have a problem with the reboots. It's not like anybody is coming to my house and taking my seasons or original series away from me. I still have them. I can still love them. And the reboots are also there so I can love them too. I liked the first one. Okay. It was enjoyable. I own it. But the second one really didn't do much for me for various reasons, the biggest of which is that they tried to do Wrath of Khan and the crew as it is right now in this new movie universe is not ready for a Wrath of Khan. They jumped the shark completely. No. Didn't work. Didn't work. But I'm happy to report that finally we have a reboot movie that I absolutely loved. Oh, it felt like the essence of what Star Trek really is and was. I know that some people have been complaining because it is a lot less about trekking through space and a lot more about larger adventures that these characters are having in one or two locations. But keep in mind that this is a movie, not an episode of Star Trek. And in all of the original Star Trek movies, they weren't just journeying from planet to planet solving problems and meeting people. They were dealing with some big event or something like that and mostly staying in one or two locations. And it worked. And this movie works great. I love the storytelling. All of the characters are so awesome. I'm really starting to enjoy the new Kirk and appreciate the differences between him and Kirk Prime because obviously this is a reboot and obviously both of these men, while technically the same person genetically, have had very different life experiences and it's great to see the little ways that they are different and the little ways that they are similar. The same with all of the other characters that I know and love from the original, but I'm noticing it the most with Kirk in this one and I'm really enjoying what I see. I was super, super happy that a lot more of the cast got a chance to shine, especially Bones, who is my favorite character from the original series. Like my friend who always goes to the Star Trek movies with me said, Grumpy Country Doctor is my aesthetic. I freaking love Bones. I love his pessimism, I love his constant snark, but I also love that he is a doctor first and foremost, and he is always looking out for his crew and his friends. And I really love that in this movie we finally get some Bones and Spock moments. I mean, in the original series it wasn't just Spock and Kirk wandering around. There were three guys, three friends, they were going on all these adventures together and we really need to start including McCoy and I'm so happy that he got a lot of chance to interact with Spock and bond with Spock and holy cow I would just watch a movie about Spock and Bones bonding. I would watch that movie, not even kidding. I love that this one somehow managed to feel a lot more serious. I felt like there were real stakes. In the previous movies, even when they destroyed Vulcan, I mean, yeah, that felt pretty serious, but at the same time, it didn't feel as serious to me as this movie felt. And I think it is because they finally just injure somebody. And you probably saw in the trailer that somebody is Spock. Now, yeah, all of these characters are still super durable, and they're still going to get in these giant fights that they probably should be walking away from with at least a few cracked ribs or broken nose, and they're going to be just fine. But... I'm so glad that they did decide to injure somebody because everybody felt too invincible in the previous movies. I mean, yeah, Kirk did die in the second one, but nobody thought for 10 seconds that Kirk was going to stay dead. I didn't, you didn't, nobody believed that. So it felt like all of these characters were too invincible and I liked 
knowing or feeling like they could be in serious danger. And I loved the separation of the crew members. They get separated from each other, but they're always trying to come together and always trying to find each other. And so we get a lot of time with each of the different crew members in this dangerous situation. They're all doing different things to try and find each other. It's so good. So good, you guys. The only character that I have not really gotten into and super bonded with is Uhura. And that's frustrating to me because Uhura was one of my favorite characters in the original series. I loved her, I loved watching her. Sometimes I just watch what she's doing in the background because she's always on, she's always doing her damn job and she's really good at it and she's really proud of how good she is at her job. And while I don't mind action Uhura, I feel like she's still kind of like, her personality for me is really not coming through. Like any personality, she's there and she's capable, but I'm really not getting any personality yet from this new Uhura, and I'm hoping that I do get to have it soon. Because I, I really want to love her, but she's really, I feel like, just not giving me very much to work with. She's fine, she's serviceable as a character, but she is not giving me the same love as I'm feeling for all of the other characters. Now, of course, there were a few silly moments where you had to suspend your disbelief a little bit, but you know what? I was fine doing that. All of the plot threads were brought together. If you saw something at the beginning, it came up later at the end, sometimes maybe in a little bit of a silly way, but it did always further the plot and help the plot and keep the story moving. And from a storytelling standpoint, I really enjoyed watching it being done correctly. If not perfectly, at least well. And there were some beats that just hit right where my feels live. Toward the end, I was tearing up and you know that my heart is essentially a vestigial organ. My soul is just a rock, I think at this point, is probably a good description for what my soul is. But I was tearing up in moments in this movie and it was it was glorious. All of my feels. After the movie I just kind of collapsed into a puddle and I was like, well there are all my feels forever, movie, you own them. I definitely want to rewatch this movie. I definitely want to own it when it comes out. So yeah, I'm sure I have more to say about Star Trek, but I'm probably going to stop rambling now. This movie really brought me back to what I loved about Trek, and that is not just the adventuring, but the relationships between the characters and the crew of the Enterprise, and how even if you took the crew out of the Enterprise, they are still the heart and soul of the ship. And these people are family, and they watch out for each other, and they will always find each other. And the message that this movie has of diversity and unity being strengths that we need is really great, especially, you know, in the times in which we live, in which diversity and unity are often being shunned. We really need to have that message that Star Trek used to bring us about understanding other people and anyone can be family for you. Anyone. You know, no matter what they look like, no matter where they come from, no matter their history. Give peace a chance, you guys! Star Trek said so. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to get done today, so... Mr. Scott, beam me up. I don't, um, I don't actually have a beaming special effect. So I'll just, just gonna, I'm just gonna go.